Hey folks, it's Mark here. Hope you're all doing very well. Um, I've got another very quick Sainsbury's um, grocery haul that I've just done this morning. I didn't need to buy a great deal because my food cupboard is pretty much full, but I need to get a few bits and pieces. So I got Sainsbury's own, <clears throat> excuse me, penne pasta. Um, it's vegan because it's um, made with 100% Italian Durham wheat. That is one kilogram and that cost me only £1.20. So that's pretty good. Um, I then picked up some black peppercorns because I've run out. I love to stick my peppercorns in my coffee grinder and grind it up into a nice powder. I use that on my flatbreads, my pasta and pizza, you know, everything. That's 49 grams and that was, let me see, £1.50. Again, it's uh, Sainsbury's own brand, fair trade. Sainsbury's own brands are just, you know, it's great food. Um, Sainsbury's own again, onion granules. This is 56 grams of onion granules for £1. Fantastic, use that again on my flatbreads, my pizza. I use onion granules and garlic granules so regularly that I get through a lot of this stuff. I got a Sainsbury's cucumber, which I'm trying to find the weight. There's nothing on the label. Oddly enough, there's no, there's no weight on the label, but you know, it's a cucumber. That was only 50 pence. I'm going to enjoy a lot of that with some romaine lettuce in a homemade baguette today. No, there's definitely no weight. And then finally, um, I got Sainsbury's basic tortilla chips, just with a little bit of salt on. I've got really good reviews. They're pretty low fat. And um, I actually got two bags of those. They're 50 pence each, so... You know, as cheap as anything. Um, now, the strange thing is, I was on Sainsbury's website last night looking at their crisps, their own brand crisps, and I was trying to find the crisps that they make with the lowest amount of saturated fats. Um, Sainsbury's do... <laughs> this is very odd. Sainsbury's do their own range of, of crisps that are labelled as reduced fat. But on average... Sainsbury's reduced fat crisps have got about three grams of saturated fat per 100 grams. Um, these crisps, and there are other crisps that aren't labelled reduced fat, um, they've got 1.9 grams of saturates per 100 grams. So Sainsbury's reduced fat crisps have got about one gram of saturated fat more per 100 grams. <coughs> Excuse me than Sainsbury's crisps that aren't reduced fat. So um, you just need to look out for things like that. If something is labelled reduced fat, just check on the other things, the similar things like crisps or whatever that aren't labelled reduced because if I hadn't checked the saturated fats, um, I would have automatically bought the reduced fat crisps and just assumed that they're lower fat. But these are much lower fat. And so are Sainsbury's other tortillas. You can get Sainsbury's tortillas chili flavoured or cool flavoured, which are pretty much a copy of Doritos cool originals. So yeah, just be careful of that. Um, the reduced fat doesn't always mean it's less fat than the regular. So I don't know why that is, but that's just how it is. So that was my mini Sainsbury's food haul for this morning. Um, as I said, I didn't need to get much and also I'm kind of, I didn't, I wasn't going to make a video just to show that small amount of food, but I'm actually making this video with my, uh, the camera on my phone and I'm using my earphone microphone for the first time. So this is just really a more of a test video just to see what quality the video and what quality the sound is. But I would really like people's feedback and I think I might make a separate video about this anyway. I'd like my viewers and my subscribers to let me know which do you think is more important in a video? Do you think the quality of the um, video um, is more important or do you think the quality of audio is more important? 
I've seen a lot of people who say they'd rather watch a video where the sound is better um, than the than than where the quality of the video is better. So, you know, I'm really interested to know from you guys watching which would you prefer, better audio or better quality visuals? Um, and also let me know what you think of this, the quality and the of video and the sound of this this video um, compared to my others because I'm not really sure if I'm going to go with HD quality video but have better sound or go with slightly less quality video like my camera phone and maybe have a microphone that produces better sound. So please let me know which you prefer, better sound or better video. Let me know if you prefer this quality of sound and video to compared to my other videos where I'm using an HD camera. And um, thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.